Hello Geminis, this is your reading for May 2019. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see what's going on for my Geminis for the month of May. Gemini, please show me love messages for Gemini. The Six of Cups. To be a Scorpio individual that um, you guys are thinking about, but this is all about um, trying to reconnect with someone, trying to reunite with someone, have a happy um, family. Okay, some of you, this is all about caring for your children, making sure they're okay, making sure they're happy. Okay. See what else? And the Queen of Swords energy there. I'm getting from you guys that there's some somebody that um, a situation that you're trying to leave behind, that you're trying not to lend a lot of your energy to. I feel that you struggle with uh, just trying to keep this person out of your psyche. You feel like you know all you need to know about this situation, but I, I'm, you're steady being pulled like to think about the situation with this individual. And then we have a Queen of Cups energy there. This could be a same-sex relationship for some of you. It does not have to be, though. But uh, I'm definitely getting this sense of, um, you know, keeping yourself from giving your emotions to a situation but you're steady like being pulled towards the situation emotionally you're not comfortable I feel with sharing your emotions or somebody here is not comfortable sharing their emotions okay four of swords energy um, Taurus got these same cards here Queen of Cups and four of swords like together so it could be a Taurus you guys are dealing with um, but I feel this is more so about uh, feeling like you need to stay to yourself not really extend yourself or lend yourself to situations that you know get you out of your comfort zone because I'm feeling like there is a level of comfort here that you're feeling um, I'm, I'm feeling that you guys are healing from a situation from the past okay it's like you're just getting to a point where you feel comfortable again the eight of swords this has caused you a lot of worry this has caused you a lot of worry, I feel. You guys may be dealing with a Taurus individual that you felt really trapped in a situation you that you wanted to end. You wanted this to end so badly, even though you, you, you feel like this kinship with this person. You've had some good times with this person. You were with this person um, probably with the intention of remaining with this person, but that didn't happen. I'm feeling like you know there was something here that needed to end, and you knew it. Okay. Then we have the King of Swords energy here. There's a lot that you've learned about this connection with this individual. There's a lot that you've learned about yourself. I feel a very guarded energy here. I feel a very guarded energy here. I feel this energy also of wanting to have a conversation with someone. I'm feeling two people um, being guarded here. Hmm. There are no wands here. Let's see what this is. It's poking out there. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's studying this situation intently. Somebody's strategizing here. 
their moves are being like numbered they're taking consideration they've taken into consideration everything that's around them their feelings words that have been spoken what should they say what should they do um, I'm feeling very strong guarded energy here but there's definitely um, a conversation that is begging to be had between you and this individual that you're thinking about here. Please show me more about this Four of Swords energy. That one is poking out there. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity here, not only a financial um, opportunity, but there's an opportunity to make peace, to to do something really significant as far as this connection is concerned. There's an opportunity being presented here because um, there there is a level of protection that this person has around them. Um, they also have, they're being guided spiritually, I feel. I feel like this person would be open to conversing. But they're still very guarded, as you both are. But I am definitely getting, like I said, that um, both of you want to have a conversation, but neither one of you is taking the initiative to do so. Okay. Let's see what other energy is coming in for Gemini. What other energy is coming in for Gemini? I don't see very much happening in um, the month of May. Although I do see that both of you want to like converse. What other energy is coming in for Gemini? The King of Wands. Now I see some action here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then the Hermit. I'm feeling that there there's something that you guys are in search of. Um, something you're in search of. There's some information. There's something. There's something that you you're wanting to do and wanting to figure out if it's the right thing to do. Let me just pull some more cards here. The Empress. There's that Taurus energy again. Could be an Aries, Taurus individual here that I feel like is significant to you. Um, there's somebody that you feel attracted to here, but this person I feel is is moving away slowly because, and I say slowly because. They, they, they're they mapping their steps. They don't want to do the wrong thing. Or either this is you guys not want to do the wrong thing, but definitely having this, this feeling of wanting to start over. Wanting to be happy. Wanting to start something new. In search of the one. In search of, you know, what you're supposed to be doing here. And then we have the Eight of Cups. There is somebody here that is walking away from trying to start over again. Walking away from this opportunity. Somebody's walking away from this opportunity because they're in search of what it is that they're really supposed to be doing. This could be you. This could be the person that you guys are thinking about here. But I feel there's there's a definite energy here of somebody um, changing, 
taking their power back in this situation and moving on, moving forward. Okay, so we have Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. I feel strong Aries energy, Taurus energy, Virgo, Pisces, Libra, um, Cancer energies here. Scorpio. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys for May, and I'll be speaking with you soon.